All right, Natalie, a uh, bit of big breaking news in the last few moments. And remember, he's a name that has been on our lips uh, since the early stages of this transfer window. And now, a big development tonight on the future of Alex Oxley-Chamberlain. Here's Cavi Solico. Cavi, uh, what have you got? Liverpool have agreed a fee to sign Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain uh, from Arsenal. This deal has been agreed just in the past hour, we were told. Uh, apparently, the deal that is going to be signed is a six-year deal. But bear in mind now that uh, talks have to start about personal terms. That is uh, not going to be a, an issue at all. Bear in mind, he turned down a new contract offer from Arsenal uh, worth about £180,000 a week. Uh, so personal terms will not be uh, an issue. Now, he is at St George's Park himself at, at the moment. I think part of his medical uh, could be held there, but that fee has been agreed. We're just trying to get confirmation of how much it is. I think it's likely to be between 35 and £40 uh, million. Pounds, yeah. but it looks like Liverpool have got their man. And Chelsea, what do, we, what do we know about their bid? Chelsea bid 35 but didn't get him. And that, that fee had been agreed between Chelsea and, and Arsenal as well, hadn't Yes, it? Chelsea tried to do uh, the deal quickly. They agreed the fee uh, first. I think the crucial factor has been where... Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain is going to play. There was a suggestion that if he went to uh, play at Chelsea, he'd be used more as a wing-back. One of the reasons he wants to leave Arsenal is because he wants to play in the centre of midfield. Uh, we've been told that at Liverpool, he will be playing either in the midfield three or out wide. At the moment, the midfield three at Liverpool, of course, is uh, uh, Wijnaldum, Henderson and Chan. So he would be in the mix for one of those uh, starting uh, places. But it looks like, certainly, as long as personal terms are agreed, which we think is going to be a formality, yeah. he is going to be a Liverpool player. Bad news for Chelsea, you've got to say. Antonio Conte, again, he hasn't had the greatest uh, uh, fortune in the transfer market uh, this summer. They thought they were going to get Alex Oxlade chamberlain but at the end of the day, it was his uh, decision. He chose to go to Liverpool instead of Chelsea. And, of course, from Arsenal's point of view, they've decided to take the money. Uh, a player who had just 12 months left on his contract... From their point of view, the 35, 40 million pounds is a good deal. And this could be a six-year deal, can you say? Yeah, that's what we're being told. Yeah. Uh, a six-year deal, just agreed. Talks have literally just finished in the past hour. Just to back up what you're saying about that fee, Carve, from what I'm seeing on Twitter, his uh, sports management group have tweeted, deal agreed. They haven't said who it's about, but they do say deal <laughs> agreed, and they have a hashtag of colossal. Yeah, that's so the that name. Of, that's the name of his, his sports management company. Yeah. I did see that put up on uh, social media. They put up a big Liverpool badge uh, as well. But we've been talking to sources close to him who've confirmed that all this uh, in information is correct. That he will be uh, moving to uh, Liverpool. Amazingly, now what's going to happen to Alexis Sanchez? Arsenal have lost Alex Oxlade Chamberlain yeah. uh, to one of their rivals, uh, Liverpool. Are they also going to be uh, losing Alexis Sanchez to another one of their rivals, yeah. Manchester City? What we're being told is that talks are. Continuing Continuing, we're expecting Manchester City to come back in with an improved offer, more than £50 million, pounds. could be £60, £70 million, pounds. another big decision uh, for Arsenal to make in the next 24, 36 Big hours. pressure on the Arsenal board now, Cavi, isn't yeah, it? Exactly. For the moment, thank you very much.